Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we will learn about our data processing with Pandas. For example, we will learn how to read and write different data formats such as text file or .csv, Excel file, Parkhide, HDF file, and so on. We will also learn how to get a subset of data, follow certain criteria, or to calculate some basic summary statistics, and how to visualize a data frame with Pandas. So let's open Spider. Here I have uh, created a separate environment and I have installed those packages. If you haven't installed those packages, please see the tutorial 7 for how to install those packages in your environment. So first we need to import pandas as pt. And then we also need to import the package for plotting the pandas data frame matplotlib.pyplot as plt so just execute the two lines in here and now to uh, read the csv file for example here in the examples folder i have the csv file called titanic.csv and this is the content of the file so the first row is the header and this file columns are separated by comma so I need to read the data. So I will say it as data frame and I need to use pandas function pt read csv and my file is in the example examples folder and this is titanic.csv and the separator is comma and the header. So here I have the first row is the header. And in pandas, the row index is starts from zero. So we have zero, one, two, three, so on. So my header is in the row index of zero, which means the first row. So execute this. Now let's go to the value explorer. We have a pandas data frame here. Mm -hmm. And now let's explore the data. So if I want to to see uh, the index of the row, just say data frame index. Here I will see execute. I will see that. The row index start from zero as I just mentioned and then end it in row with the row index A91 and with a step of one. And the column, I want to get the index or the column names, just type this. So I have the column name in passenger ID, survive, passenger class name and so on. And it, I if I want to know how many number of rows and columns, I can say shape here. So I know that we have 891 rows and 12 columns. And if I want to get a subset of the data frame in here, for example, I just want to have for own row, and I just want to have for the column age and the column fair here so here you see i have the subset of the data which contains only two columns or if i want to have the subset of data but for some certain row index for example i want to have a row 0 2 and 4 and for own column so here F9. So here I have a data for own columns, but only for rows number index 0, 2, and 4. And if I have the want to have the data for certain cells, I just want data frame log. So let's say the row index 0 and the uh, column is age here. So 22. If you open the data frame in here, 
zero and age so we have 22 and if we want to rename the column uh, let's say we want to rename the columns and we want to rename the column ticket what is the new name we want the new name like new just say ticket and we want to rename the Kevin columns names to let's say new Kevin and we want to pre uh, to apply to a data frame so in place true so now we just open the data frame in here so let's see the ticket we have new ticket if we don't say in place is true we run this command and we open it will not replace in this data frame and if we want to, another way to get a subset of data frame in here is that for example i want to have a subset for the color column age and fair here just have two columns the same with this one or i want to have um, a data frame but for only the one that would age greater than 50. so now i have a new data frame but only for the passenger with the A greater than 50. Or I want to have a new data frame with a passenger class in class 2 and 3. Is in 2 and 3. F9. So now I have only the new, new I have new data frame, but passenger class three and two only. For example, if I want to have a new data frame with age greater than fifty, or B class greater than two. So just execute this and now I have a new data frame for the passenger with age greater than 50 or B class greater than 2. So you I want to calculate some statistic. For example, I want to have the maximum age and fare. So data frame, first I need to get a subset of this. So I only want to calculate for the column age so just age and fair and I want to have the maximum of columns so it should be axis equals zero so now I have the maximum age 80 and maximum ferry 552 Let's see our data frame here. And we have the max age of 80 and fair 552, 512. So if I want to calculate the standard deviation, standard deviation of these two columns, axis. so columns in way zero. And rows, if we want to calculate by rows, should be one. Hep nine, so we we have the standard deviation of Asian fare in here. And if we want to create a new column from existing columns, so for example, I want to have a new column with the name survive time with age 
and this column is equals to the column survive time with data frame column page F9. So let's open our data frame. Now we have the new data frame, a new column, column survive and here. And if we want to plot, visualize. So if we want to plot the columns, let's say histogram of the age. So histogram chi should be hist because histogram F9 and then we want to show this plot show execute this and here you see plot so we have the histogram of age and if we want to have let's say two box plot so two box plot one for fair and the other for age and we want to have box plot so chi should be box we want to have two subplots so subplot true and then we need to show this show so now we have two subbox sub plots if we want to have like scatter plot, let's say in the scatter plot we need to define x is age and y is let's say fair and chi should be scatter. So we need to we want to uh, set transparency be alpha 0 0.5 and then show plot show let's execute this one so we have a scatter plot we can set the alpha and here 0 0.1 to see the effect yeah 0 0.5 And we can also to say the data in different format. In here, I have the command for it already. So, for example, if you want to say a CSV, you just data frame your data frame in two CSV, and don't want to have the index. If you want to say it pickle here, and if you want to say it Excel, bug height, and HDF, and also you can read your data frame in here. So just basically change to for example csv to two pico and so on and also for read command so if you want to know more about bandas so just go to the official of bandas website in here we have api references and for example input output in here to read different data format read table csv or data frame there's many different other function we just use index columns and there are also hundreds of function in here you can do many operation with it and the code that I show here will be in the video description so you can find the video description also the data in this code yeah so this all about bandas and Thanks for your interest in this video. Please subscribe to get the latest update about my videos.